people who are very, very excited about leadership, but sometimes they feel like their leaders or the organization is kind of clipping their wings, so to speak. Um, do you think it's important for a leader who feels like they're not unable, unable to unlock their full potential to, to move elsewhere or to try to figure it out within the company that they're already a part of? Yeah, again, great question. And so you look at my past, I've worked for six companies. So you go, oh, well, you know, from one perspective, you bounced around. From another perspective, I have had kind of a long career. I'm on the back nine, but um, I always went to a new company because of the opportunity that was there. Hmm. And um, and so I'm a strong believer that it's okay. You don't have to work for the same company for 30 years and go from the bottom to the top every time. That's just not, it's not that's not the reality that we live in, right? Yeah. However, I do think there's this notion of organizational patience. I've had to actually develop some of that myself um, because you can't just peel out and go get a better offer every time something's not going your way. And I mean, we all know we're gonna bump into leaders that don't necessarily bring out the best in all of us. And yeah. I think developing this notion of you know resilience and how to deal with that is super important for the longevity of a career, but also to develop the empathy for those people that you start to manage of what are the things that you need to avoid because they didn't work for you. You don't wanna repeat history and make the same mistakes that man, you know, your bad managers made, right? Yeah. So, but all of that requires a growth mindset. You gotta be totally in the game to learn and you have to realize that the pace of change of the market that we're living in is also putting pressure on the pace of change in our leadership styles, our organizational frameworks, etc. So the bad boss that you're working for today, with the exception of if I'm on the senior leadership team reporting to the CEO who's not going anywhere, you know, I, I always tell middle management, like it's literally anywhere from 90 days to 18 months could be the time that you have to deal with this. And that amount of time is is not that long. You can almost hold your breath for that long. So hmm. muscle through it and see what you're gonna learn and how you're gonna apply those learnings as, as the takeaway. That being you said, if you're being demeaned or if there's, you know, real issues with how you're being treated, you know, emotionally, you gotta fix that. You work yeah. with HR, you work with peers, you work with other managers or mentors to address it. And of course you have open and transparent conversations with your managers, but. 